Mark, the teacher here at Arlington High School kicked off the conversation today by showing a short clip of the march in Charlottesville, again, hoping to open the door to a conversation that will help to raise awareness, empower his students with knowledge, and help them to be engaged in the community. When it talks about freedom of speech, did they have the right to assemble? No. Yes. 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 Arlington High School world history teacher Delvante Arnold is leading a conversation about Charlottesville. And it's not even just black and white, it's Hispanics, it's Mexicans, it's interracial people as well. He's asking more than a dozen freshmen through senior students about the First Amendment, the reasons behind the protest, and how they felt about it. I think we just see the hate, talk about the hate, and make it better. Because the more we see something, the more it actually affects our lives. And if something affects us, only then do people really want to fix something. Junior Christian Edwards says he thinks knowledge will make this country better. I feel like they're just a bunch of irrational people, more like children don't understand the causes of their hatred. And I realize if they talk to each other, they make compromises, they realize they're very similar to one another and that they can be closer allies than enemies. This is Arnold's first year in the classroom. He says he chose to work at this school because of the high population of African-American students. And he thinks this conversation is completely necessary. Only the first he's planning for this school year. When they go out off to college, when they go off experiencing the world, for them to understand their state in America, why some people may have less expectations of them than they have for themselves understand why some people may view them differently than they view themselves. And Arnold says today's conversation is only the first on this topic. He plans many more throughout the school year. Reporting live on the east side, Katie Hines, RTV6.